Hi, I'm Dan. I'm playing this uh, M15 pre-release. I built this deck in like four minutes. I have I always play black and I've discovered that black red is really really good. I got the Night Fairy Giant and the Pyromaster, so uh, yeah, I'm black red again. And let's see what we can do. It's time to kill people to deliver their salvation from personal Jesus. Your own personal Jesus. Someone to be around. Okay, I should not sing. I must not sing. I'm keeping this easily. A tiny teaspoon is my opponent. And I shall murk his tea. Plenty of things to play before I find my second uh, mountain. Uh, swamp. Let's try that. Well. I think I should just kill him. Or I should play the Bloodseek and then benefit from uh, the Pride Maid dying. Blue White seems very, very weak compared to other corsets in this set. We are in a very different world from M13 and M14. Oh, Mr. Frostlynx! There goes my brilliant plan. And now I probably just need to kill something to not take a lot of damage next turn. Finding land would be fantastic, but I only have 18, so that's uh, too much to ask. Killing him so he can't trick save him somehow. Alright. Give me your blue white beat down. Or play something with one toughness, please. That's what I like to see. One toughness and I find a swamp. Oh, techy tech tech. <laughs> military intelligence. Oh, I don't want to get hit by military intelligence. Uh, that color of mana is not the color I want. And I can't find anything. And I have no idea why I didn't attack. Okay, I'm getting disheartened. Oh, I have done so well in this format. I won two and have like four three ones. So I shouldn't do things like that. Military intelligence. Pretty nasty. Coral barriers, and now we can attack with two creatures next time. So, probably not time to bring in the Festa Glooms. Oh, nice. Uh, play Juggernaut. Trade him for the Frostlynx. Getting two for one. He gets two for one. He gets a card. So it's a two for two. But hey, wait a minute. I could also kill his squid and swing and sign in blood. That seems a lot better, actually.
I am so upset with myself for missing that one attack. But I probably just need one more lamp to dominate this match. Except that he has them. The angel is a bother, but it's not that dangerous. So I'm gonna flash the dust to Frost Lynx. If he taps out. He sort of taps out. One more enchantment on the Frost Lynx. Come on. No, it's Mr. Skirmisher. Going down to five. I think I need to stop this attack and stay back with the Bloodseeker to kill the Kinspell Skirmisher. Just take over with uh, Nightfire Giant. Getting the two for ones seems to be a good way to beat Blue White. Geist of the Moors. Well, now maybe he can make. Oh, he can make a double attack, but it'll cost him his Kinspell Skirmisher. Though I, yeah, I have to play the Nightfire Giant and then kill the Geist. So that's what we are doing unless something interesting comes up. And that's not interesting enough. I hope he isn't splashing black. Nightfire Giant. I'm gonna take another tree. So if he has like something gives him two power, I'm dead. If not, I think I'm in control. My hand is pretty good as well. So he's not really getting a card from military intelligence here if he attacks with both. Unless he can kill my Nightfire Giant. So maybe I should block with the Bloodseeker. Yes, that's what I should do. But something is going on. Well. Living. But now he doesn't have a combat trick. So we'll just swing with the Geist. He does attack with the Kinspale and lets it go. Is there a Convoke Combat trick that doesn't cost anything? Uh, it's only red and green, right? Block. Okay, and I have to kill the Geist. Do I swing with the Bloodseeker? Yeah, I do have this guy who can block. Okay. 
Can't do anything for two more mana. Just if he has placed the three three flyer, <coughs> I'm dead. Triplicate spirit. No razor for Griffin. That also does the trick. So I can do nine. He doesn't fly, he doesn't fly. Paragon of Open Graves does not work. I'm dead. I'm tempoed out by the blue-white tempo deck that I was so sarcastic about. So let's hope he makes a mistake then. That's not a mistake I'm looking for. Definitely faster gloom here. But I'm pretty vulnerable to faster gloom as well. But get rid of something expensive. And uh, like what? What is expensive? Paragon. But I have so many targets that die from the Festa Gloom. Should I bring in Crippling Blight instead? I did not see too many one toughness creatures. <sighs> not playing first. Reasonable hand. Let's see what we can do. Maybe I've underestimated the blue white tempo deck. I don't draw too many lands now. I have a hard time remembering what's what is in my decks because is it greedy? It's pretty greedy.
Just uh, The enchantment plus one, tree, plus one plus three Will be really hard to deal with here But he doesn't have it Do I block him? No I don't block him So what else you can do? Cast of the Moors um. Okay, attack, play the witch's familiar And then Chandra the guys next turn Then Chandra should be safe. Yeah, Fester Gloom would have been nice, wouldn't it? Okay, we have to bring in Gloom. And I'm blocking the Swift Glue here, of course. I hope he uses a combat trick so I get it out of his hand. But I am blocking the Swift Clue here, I don't want to take 6. Okay, well you get a card sir, but you're gonna have no board. So that's okay with me. The Bloodseeker is overperforming all the time. It's like him getting a one for one here because he used the card to play the military intelligence. Here's a combat trick, probably. No combat trick, nice. So Chandra will just rule the world. Meet my friend Chandra Pyromaster. Negate. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about it. Well, that didn't work as planned. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. But though, if I play Chandra there, if I don't play Chandra... I should have drawn the negate with the lightning strike. Yeah. So sloppy. And now I'm flooding as well. That would have been alright if I had the Chandra. Okay, you die. And we are about equal, but you have four cards and I have three worthless cards. And here is something huge. Scuttling Doom Engine. Can't be blocked. Yeah, I'm not gonna win this. Stoke the Flames. He's never gonna fall for that, you see. Did I miss something? Wow, he let me do that. He still has two cards then. Can I recover from that? That was as bad as my casting Chandra into the gate. Yeah, I'm not particularly scared of the Wall of Frost. Give me my... 
Give me my uh, uh, giant black demon. Walls and military intelligence. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, that's no card economy. And this, my friend, is a war of card economy at this point. But I don't get my cards. Okay, focus. We need to win this. No big monster. Frostlings, that's okay, I guess. Anything I have can block that guy. Uh, okay, that should have been Gloom then. But now actually Gloom wouldn't do anything. Whereas this gives me five turns instead of three. But that way I'm just helping his the angel now. And then it's just good night and farewell. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Well, so there is hope because he is playing a lot of dirty cards. Wow. I'm not playing the Urborg in case he's splashing black. He doesn't have a card. So saving my flesh to dust was pretty good. I'll draw something good. Intense. Forge Devil would be really funny now. What about my giant demon? Hello. Well, I guess Typhoid Rat does not win me the race. I'm in deep trouble. Yeah, tree tree flyer. So now I am dead next turn. But I was dead next turn anyways, so... <laughs> uh, okay. It's a nice card. Okay, I admit to being a bit lucky here. Just like I planned. So tight. Okay. But 
We're in the gloom of the blight. Gonna lose a ton of guys to the gloom. Or am I? Three guys died to the gloom. Do I need another gloom? Child of Night feels really good. And I can't take out the Juggernaut really. And I can't go below 12 creatures, so this is it. Uh oh. I got to send that back. And this I'm keeping. There's the gloom. And he also mulliganed. I like that. No turn one play here. So we play this. No, we don't need. We can play the mountain. I'm a little nervous right now. This was a hard battle. Swift claw. Do we go for the value here? Of the gloom. I think we do. Once again, we're dead to the enchantment. Why not just block here? No, I'm not gonna block. Looking for value. Okay, not gonna play the torch fiend. I can play the gloom, but I want something out of it. And it can't really raise me, so... I think I'm done here. Keeping up heat ray in case he does something. Oh, one more mana now, it will be so good! Stoke the flames. I'm winning this race, right? Yeah. Heat ray is in uh, instant mode. Ready to do something. He definitely needs some blue mana. He doesn't have it. Chandra, Fire Master, one damage to target player, one damage to target creature. Nice! So is her ultimate useful? Copy it three times, that looks pretty good. Hmm. <laughs> well, I think I got to use this. And play the plate mail. Okay, I feel fairly confident here. Can spell skirmishers.
Tor Mentor. I think just equipping this. Swinging for six. Is fairly hard for him to deal with. Till Chandra. He still hasn't found blue. Yes. Wow, thank you for watching.